What's going on, Fader Culture? My name is Sergio Barron, and we are back with another haircut tutorial. Today, I got my boy July Blends on the chair, and I'm gonna be breaking down a step-by-step -step process on how to do a modern mullet. So stay tuned for the whole tutorial. Let me know down in the comments how y'all feel about this tutorial, and let's just get right into it. All right guys, so to begin, I'm gonna start by dampening this hair really well so I can start my shear work. In case y'all wondering who's talking back here, let me show a face real quick. I'm the guy behind the camera. Get the fuck off my scene. <laughs> Get out of my video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start by sectioning out the backside of his hair from the top. Now right here, all I'm doing is pulling out to see how long or how short I wanna trim the top. Now I'm in the back, Now I'm only gonna cut off about a half inch just to give it a little trim. Pull that out and then just cut out your first guy. See my guide right there? And I'm gonna just cut it straight down to match that up. All right, so now that I've cut to match up everything on this left side, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the exact same process on this right side. I'm gonna just pull out my profile section down the middle and then match that to the back. I'm not gonna basically round this off right here. I'm gonna keep this long. I'm gonna get a piece of this hair, pull some of this from the top. And I'm gonna just blend that together. Y'all see this middle profile section that I had? I'm gonna get some of that, move it off to the right, and then just even that out. So my guide's right there, I'm gonna go ahead and just even that out to the right side, but what I'm gonna do, instead of cutting it straight, I'm just gonna go ahead and point cut just to give that top hair more texture. Same thing, I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps that I did on the right side of his head, right here on this left side. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that middle profile section that I cut out earlier, move that out the way, comb this off to the left side, and then just work my way off up a finger at a time till I cut the left side even. then blow dry the sides where I'm gonna do my clipper work just to make it easier for the clipper to do some cutting because when the hair is wet, it does give the clipper a difficult time when it comes to uh, cutting the hair. Follow up that guy line with my clipper, no guard lever, fully open. And 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my number one guard, still leaving that lever open, and then just continue blending up a little higher to set in my next guideline. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my one and a half clip, lever fully open. And here I'm not so much trying to set in another guideline. What I'm doing is trying to blend the rest of this bulk right here up into the top, but making sure I only move up about a quarter inch to a half inch. So be sure that you start kind of flaring out and using more so the corner of the clipper to help you achieve that blend. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the number two guard and again, just do the exact same thing, coming up about another quarter inch, making sure that I flare out with my clipper. Now we're doing the exact same thing with the number three guard, still with that lever open. All you're doing is flaring out. And now you should be left with these two guidelines. They're kind of faint, but you should have that first one that you laid down with your trimmer and that second one that you laid down with the clipper, no guard lever fully open. I'm gonna start by taking out the top one and then work my way down to that bottom one. So for that top one, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the half clip and I'm gonna position the lever at three fourths. And all that is, is the lever closed a tad bit from where it was open. To finish taking out that line on top, it's gonna take two guards, so I'm gonna grab this one guard, still leaving that lever at three fourths, so finish taking it out. Now you have this last line to blend out right here. For that one, it's gonna take about three to four lever positions. I always gauge that as I get into that fade. So first I start with the clipper lever fully closed. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and open that lever to my halfway mark and continue blending up a little higher. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and open that lever completely open. And here you see that it's only some minimal spots to finish taking it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and work those dark spots out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take out the rest of this bottom of the hair so I can shave it off. Now from here, this is when I, where I start kind of doing any touch up work, now that the fade is kind of already in there. So all I'm doing is looking for any little dark areas that I catch in that fade and just come in there and blend them out. So as you see, there's a little bit here and there right here. I'm gonna go ahead and attack those with my one and a half guard. Lever open and then just hit those dark areas up. go ahead and even grab my thinning shears to help soften up, soften up that bulk that you see right here. So right here what I'm going to do is grab my razor and I'm going to blend the sides to the back with the razor and just kind of feather that out. And don't forget to follow Faded Culture Academy on Instagram. All right, get out of my scene. Yeah. All right, so now that I'm done with the fading process and trimming the top, I'm gonna go ahead and just fade out, fade out this side of his beard before uh, starting on the opposite side. So just like we did up here, setting out, setting out the two guideline process, I'm gonna do the exact same steps right here, just creating my two guidelines and then blending them out. All right, so now that I'm done fading out the side or the left side of his head, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the exact same steps on the opposite side. I'm gonna go ahead and start using my trimmers to do all the lineup work and just kind of prep the canvas before coming in with my straight razor to do all of my shape.
So now I'm pretty much done with setting up my lineup with my trimmer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start the shaving process. I'm gonna use some of my Faded Culture shaving gel. Y'all can find our tools and our products at FadedCulture.com if y'all like to check them out. But all I'm doing is applying a little bit throughout all the edges or all the areas that I will be using my straight razor on. Right here, all I'm doing is snapping off the edges of this razor just so that it's easier to slide into my Turkish razor. And then I just adjust it at whatever exposure I like and boom, you're ready to go. All right guys, we're pretty much done with the lineup work. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the styling process. What I like to do is dampen the hair really well before applying some of my matte clay all over the top. So first, just make sure you wet the hair really well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this matte clay right here. Yeah, so I'm just grabbing about a nickel, about a nickel size amount. Re work it real well into your hand and then just apply it all the way into the root of the hair. And then I'm gonna just start by using high airflow and I'm gonna set my temperature setting to about medium heat. All right guys, so there y'all have it. Uh, the step-by-step -step process on how to do a modern mullet. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this tutorial and were able to take something from it. If y'all did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure y'all check out the rest of the tutorials that we have on this channel and I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.